What if humans suddenly disappeared? As humans, we take for granted our presence on Earth. We forget that in the grand scheme of the planet being around, we've not been around for that long, around 200,000 years. Although that might seem like a long period of time, think of that in relation to the fact that the Earth has been around for 4.5 billion years. So if most of the time the planet didn't have us on it, then surely it wouldn't be such a problem if we ceased to exist. Well, a problem for us, obviously, but what would happen to the planet that we would leave behind? There are several reasons why we might be left extinct. It could be a pandemic like we're experiencing right now, a world war, or maybe something we haven't even considered. Whatever it might be, it wouldn't take long before the world would descend into chaos. We might be gone, but we would have left behind plenty of unnatural products that, without our supervision, would become out of control. Power stations would be one of the first casualties. Without anyone to monitor them, they would fast develop errors that would knock the power out worldwide, starting a sequence of catastrophic events. Nuclear power stations would cause the biggest issues as abandoned plants would melt down with more ferocity than we've seen from Chernobyl and Fukushima. This would send radiation far and wide, resulting in radioactive contamination and fallout, and potentially leading to radiation poisoning of animals nearby. Animals would also suffer, as the 1 billion pigs, 1.5 billion cows, and 20 billion chickens we keep captive would break out of their pens in search of food that their keepers are no longer providing. Their electric fences would no longer be working so they could break out for something to eat, but would likely starve with no humans to feed them. This is assuming wild cats and dogs don't get to them first. Our domesticated pets and pure breeds wouldn't be able to cope with the literal dog-eat-dog -dog landscape of the wild and would likely be torn apart from their wild equivalents. On the plus side, rats and cockroach populations would plummet as they'd lack the trash we produce that sustains them. The good news for animals is that those species that we've repressed and brought close to complete annihilation would thrive again. Those that we've hunted close to extinction would start to breed back to the levels that they were at before we got involved. Animals that humans have imported and exported would continue to thrive in their non-native lands. Those that escaped their zoos could even do well in their new habitats without the interference of humans. Looking at our cities, it wouldn't take long before our huge subways are completely flooded. Without people to run pumps that divert rainfall and rising groundwater, the huge underground systems needed for the subway would be home for the fishes. Research has shown this could take only 36 hours for this to happen. Eventually, over the course of a quarter of a century after man's disappearance, 75% of the planet's paved city streets and sidewalks will be covered in vegetation. We can already see this in abandoned streets of Chernobyl where nature has taken back the city that humans needed to abandon over 30 years ago. But before plants even get the chance to take back the streets and cities, fire might get to them first. With no one to fight fires, one single lightning strike that hits a timber roof could start a chain reaction that wipes out a city. Within 100 years, there would be no wooden structures standing. How would other materials fare? Well, steel wouldn't do well. Cars and bridges would be next to crumble. And with no one around to top up the paint on these structures, then the iron and steel would react with oxygen in the air and turn to rust. The only steel buildings left standing would be those in the desert with less moisture in the air. They would eventually crumble, but would take a lot longer to rust. Other materials that we would have left behind wouldn't be so keen to disappear. We'd leave behind mountains of waste, most of which would be plastic and which would likely stay on the planet for thousands of years, continuing to interfere with wildlife. Meanwhile, petroleum waste that spills or seeps into the ground at industrial sites and factories would be broken down and reused by microbes and plants, which would probably take decades. Other, more persistent chemicals would take a lot longer to break down. Plastics and rubber would eventually be swept into the oceans and settle in sediment layers. After hundreds of millions of years, they would integrate into rock layers. 
As for the issues that humans are causing themselves at the moment with global warming, these would be solved without us generating more greenhouse gases. The natural carbon cycle would return atmospheric carbon dioxide levels to normal after a few thousand years. But the fallout that we mentioned earlier from meltdowns at power plants from around the world would remain for a while longer. This is all assuming that a disastrous chain reaction didn't occur. For instance, if there are explosions at industrial plants or oil or gas wellheads that continue to burn long after we're all gone, huge amounts of heat trapping carbon dioxide would continue to be discharged into the atmosphere, making global warming worse. Nature will continue to take over man-made structures. Desert cities like Las Vegas and Dubai would be covered in sand from storms over the years with no one to maintain these, as the desert takes back what belongs to it. Swamps that once covered large parts of the world would also reappear and take back residential areas. Eventually, there will be little left to show that we were even here, as the only evidence of man-made buildings after 10,000 years will be stone constructions, which can last several hundred thousand years. Unfortunately, our enduring legacy would possibly be the persistent pollutants that we are currently releasing into the air. It's likely that the longest surviving product of humans may well be nuclear waste. So, this is what would happen if humans suddenly disappeared. Absolute chaos in the form of power stations burning to the ground, billions of animals perishing and all man-made structures becoming literal urban jungles. All this and not much left behind apart from our very worst pollutants. What do you think about this scenario? Do you agree with this view of Earth after we're gone? If not, what do you think would happen? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.